everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today's topic is very important, and it's about vegetable oils and how they can cause cancer, various diseases, increase in body fat, and also inflammation, which can lead to arthritis and other problems and other health ailments. And I'm going to get right to the point today. Basically, stop eating these vegetable and seed oils, such as soybean and canola oil, uh, corn oil, cotton seed, sunflower, peanut oil, sesame oil, and even rice bran oil. Now, these polyunsaturated oils cause multiple health problems diseases, an increase in body fat, diabetes, cancer, and also inflammation. Even though they aren't really vegetable oils or vegetables, these oils are commonly referred to as vegetable oils. And these oils contain very large amounts of a biologically active fats called omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acids, which are harmful in excess. However, this does not apply to healthy plant oil such as olive oil or, or co coconut oil which are extremely good for you and i'll name a few other oils at the end of today's video simply stated these industrial seed oils such as you know again corn cotton seed safflower soybean oil and, and sunflower oil are not foods that we should look to increase in our diets these are what i call fake man-made fats now these oils were never a significant part or contributor to the human diet up until maybe the past 50 years. And this is because they're just cheap to make. Remember, these plants are not potent fat sources, especially corn. So to concentrate the oil and make it usable, it has to be exposed to high heat, which is not what you want, degummed, refined, bleached, deodorized, and just other nasty stuff to produce a cheap, clear oil with a long shelf life. Unfortunately, these oils are now devoid of the healthy polyphenols that would provide antioxidant protection for these easily oxidized polyunsaturated fats. Now, there are two types of fatty acids that are termed essential, basically because the body can't produce them on their own. These are omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. Now, it is absolutely essential for the human body to get these fatty acids from the diet, but it must get them in certain balances and ratios. While humans were evolving, you know, for thousands of millions of years, our omega-6, omega-3 ratios were around three to one or even two or, or one to two, almost in similar ratios to each other. Unfortunately, today, the ratio is as high as 20 to one on average with, you know, omega-6 to omega-3 ratios with even higher ratios towards the omega-6s with those who eat, you know, processed and packaged foods, as well as those who eat out most of their meals. And these higher omega-6 fat ratio is known to cause type 2 diabetes, heart disease, inflammation, you know, can lead to arthritis, depression, weight gain, and even cancer. Now, in addition to the omega-6 um, ratio problem, right, vegetable oils are also high in trans fats. Now, these fats are highly toxic and are also associated with an increased risk of, again, various diseases like heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and obesity. And these trans fats are found in the vegetable oils that you see on the shelves, which have a very long and unnatural shelf life. Now, they're also found in most baked goods because they're cheap and extend the shelf life of these packaged products. Also, these fats are bad for, you know, heart disease or cholesterol levels. You see, polyunsaturated fats are promoted to help lower that bad LDL cholesterol, the lipoprotein. However, they also decrease the more important and beneficial good HDL cholesterol as well and to a greater extent. So what's the point, right? This imbalance is another reason these vegetable oils cause your, you know, an increased risk for heart disease, heart attacks, and strokes. Now, you need to have fat in your diet, all right? It's essential to your survival and to your health. Just stay away from these unnatural fake fats and read all the labels for these hidden fats. I suggest a minimum of at least 20% of your calories to come from healthy fats such as extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil, avocados, macadamia nut, macadamia nut oil, nuts such as walnuts are fantastic, whole eggs, fatty fish such as wild caught salmon, and also flax seeds. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Please leave your questions and comments below. I'd like to see what you want to hear about next. Also, please do me a big favor and let me know what topics you'd like me to cover in my videos. I have a special link below in the description area that you can just fill out a couple quick questions. It'll go directly to my private email box. This helps me make the videos that you want to watch about the topics that you're interested in. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.